Hey everybody, it's Luke from Galaxy Tech Review, and today we've got a headset from Be Excellent. This is the Be Excellent Q2 Bluetooth wireless headset. You can check this headset out on Amazon at the time of this review for $39, and I'll have that link in the description as always so that you guys can check it out. So let's dig into this, and I'll be right back. So let's take a look at the Q2 specifications. They are a 40 millimeter speaker diameter. Uh, you do have a polymer lithium battery here at 400 milliamps. Charging time takes about three hours on that battery and you're gonna get eight plus hours on playback with this. Uh, it does have built-in LED lights that you can switch on or off. Uh, they don't really draw that much power so you're not gonna be like sucking too much battery power by using the side LEDs. Uh, it does have a 10 meter distance, which we normally see with Bluetooth. It is Bluetooth 4.1, and its working voltage is 3.7 volts. So those are the basic specs on the Q2. Okay, so once you get everything out of the box, this is what you're going to get. We're going to start off with the Q2 wireless headset manual. Uh, this is written in many different languages, so if English is not your primary language, uh, they're going to have you covered on that. It goes over a bunch of... Uh, tips on how to get it connected to your smartphone or whatever device that you're going to connect it to, how to use the 3.5 millimeter audio cable in case you want to use this as a wired headset. If you run out of battery life, you can use it as a wired headset without using battery power, so that's actually a plus as well. In this bag, you're going to see uh, that we have a couple different cables. Our first cable is going to be our charge cable, and this is a USB to standard micro USB cable, which is great because you can use any micro USB cable that you would like. If you want to charge it, you can plug it into any USB port on your laptop or PC, or just use a phone or tablet AC to USB wall adapter. They also give you a, a 3.5 millimeter audio cable here. Uh, this is, uh, again, can be used if you run out of battery power on the Bluetooth headset itself. Uh, it is gold plated on both sides. And it has an inline mic here uh, with a uh, pause play button. And you do have a uh, switch there that will switch it from international standard. Uh, if you happen to plug this in and you're only hearing mono sound, uh, just flip the switch uh, and that should take care of uh, making sure that you're hearing uh, stereo sound out of this particular headset. Now it is awesome because it is a flat ribbon style cable and I really do like those because they tend to not get tangled up at all. Nice protein leather ear cups on here and there is some adjustment to the ear cups and I like that because everybody's uh, head shape is different uh, so it's important to have that. If we take a look at the uh, extenders uh, for uh, the left and the right side or at least for now just the right side I usually like to make sure that these are nice and tight uh, on the outside of this extender it is reinforced with metal uh, and that is something that I always check. The inside is not reinforced with metal, but the outside is, so that's definitely a plus as well. It definitely makes the headset much more durable overall uh, because that tends to be a break point in uh, headsets of any kind. Nice uh, secure connection here. Now this has a rubberized matte soft touch feel to it and as you can see this is very bendable uh, you're not going to break these uh, they, they look like they'll take some serious abuse you can fold them up uh, so if you're going to put them in a backpack or a bag they will save space that way so that's actually a plus as well and they've got a nice satisfying click to them when you actually uh, fold them out now on the left hand side and the right hand side you're going to see these checkered patterns here those actually are led lights that you can turn off or on if you want to and there's actually a dedicated switch on the right hand side that we'll go over in just a second that switch is right here and it's got a little light icon on it and you can see it lights up in blue to kind of match uh, the overall aesthetics of the device and you can have them on or off so if you don't want them on you don't have to have them on uh, they don't draw a lot of power at all so they're really not going to impact on battery power your USB uh, hook up there for recharging your battery your 3.5 millimeter input in case you do run out of battery uh, again you can use it as a wired headset and of course you have these nice metal buttons here uh, your pause play your forward track and reverse track which are also integrated as your volume up and volume down buttons and they have these nice little ridges on them too uh, that kind of make them uh, a little bit easier to find and grip when they're on your head so you don't really have to look at them 
So overall, I really do like the uh, metal design on the buttons. Okay, so let's take a look at how we turn this on and pair it real quickly. Uh, you're going to use the pause play button, which is your power button. You're going to hold that down for about six to eight seconds. You're going to see that the LED light turns blue, and that's your power on. And then if you continue to hold it down, it's going to cycle blue and red, which means it's in pairing mode. So we're actually ready to pair this to our Bluetooth device. I'm going to use my Samsung Galaxy Note 8. A very simple process here. You just go to Bluetooth and then you wait until it shows up in available devices and it should show up as the Q2. So we will click on this and pair it. It is Bluetooth 4.1, so it's pretty fast in pairing. As you'll see right here, it does quickly come up as connected for call and media audio. So we are all set. So very simple and easy pairing process. Now let's talk about the sound on this. Uh, the sound on this is very, very nice. It's got an overall rich sound. It does have bass to it. Uh, which is a definite plus. Some of the more budget headsets don't have bass to it. This one happens to have a, a good amount of bass to it. It has a very nice, rich sound in the uh, highs, as the mids, and the lows. Uh, so it's very nice. It's, it's very good for either listening to music or watching a movie with. Uh, so I was very impressed with that. Now the microphone that's built into this also does a great job at picking up your voice. I did some test calls and had no problems with anybody hearing me or me hearing anyone else. So overall, they've hit all the points on this Bluetooth headset. It does have an eight hour um, battery time on it, which isn't the longest we've tested, uh, but it's still pretty solid. It's gonna get you through a work day as long as you're not continuously listening to it. And if you do, you can always plug it in wired uh, if you run out of battery. So overall, I think Be Excellent did a great job with the Q2. Okay, so that's my review of the Be Excellent Q2 Bluetooth wireless headset. It's got a lot of really good things to say about it. There's not really that much that I can point out that is bad, except for maybe the battery life could be a little bit longer, although eight hours is still pretty substantial. I've tested some that do 15 to 20 hours of uh, battery life, uh, but eight hours is certainly adequate. The LEDs are there, and thank goodness they are uh, able to be turned off if you do not like them on. Uh, so that's actually cool. You get a uh, function that you can use if you want to or not use if you don't want to. Uh, call quality and microphone quality were excellent. And uh, music quality is surprisingly good for a $39 headset as well. So I don't have a lot of bad things to say about this particular model. The build quality is good on it as well. Uh, overall, the Q2 by Be Excellent is definitely a two thumbs up from me. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions about the Q2, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video. Oh,